Louisville, Kentucky, Kent Taylor liked to say he was a failure. His plan for a Florida salad company wilted. Ditto for a seafood concept that never got off the beach. And when he finally persuaded three Kentucky doctors to invest in Texas Roadhouse, after 80 other investors turned him down, three of his first five restaurants failed, and he had had to close their doors. I think you have a better, more open mind when you fail, Taylor once said. He eventually succeeded, and then some. Before he died by suicide Thursday, racked by post-COVID-19 symptoms his family said became unbearable, Taylor, 65, had built his casual dining chain into a goliath of more than 600 restaurants in 49 states and seven countries worth more than $6 billion. A graduate of Ballard High School in Louisville who started in the business busing tables at Captain Quarters, Taylor built a personal fortune worth more than $600 million, about half in company stock. Over the past 15 years, he cashed in stock worth more than $300 million, including $6.8 million worth he sold three days before his death. But he forsook his salary and bonus over the past year so the money could go to hourly employees stung by the coronavirus pandemic. He liked to say Texas Roadhouse was a people company that happened to sell steaks, that happy employees make happy guests. Recalling the abuse he suffered early in his career managing restaurants for other companies, he said, I swore to myself if I ever had my own business, I would take care of employees first, guests second. He was unwavering with his commitment to the quality of the food, design, layout and ambiance of the restaurant, but his biggest strength was the amazing culture he developed within his organization, said Steve Ritchie, a former CEO at Papa John's, where Taylor was a director. He loved his employees, and they reciprocated by sharing his passion for excellence. Ritchie, who now owns a restaurant group that includes Lou Vino, said, I can unequivocally say he was the most talented restaurateur I have ever worked around. David Novak, the retired chairman and CEO of Yum! Brands, said Taylor, was a master at hospitality and never took himself too seriously. He understood the business was all about people and making the customers happy, and that made him an iconic leader in the industry. He paid his managers well, vesting them with stock, and he minted many millionaires, said former Governor John Y. Brown Jr., who invested in another of Taylor's ventures, Buckhead Mountain Grill. Despite his wealth and successes, Taylor remained modest and humble, Brown said. He also liked to have fun. He took off three months a year to ski, including at his second home in Deer Valley, Utah, Brown said. Born in September 27, 1955, to Marilyn and Powell Taylor, Wayne Kent Taylor grew up in Louisville. His father helped start the GE Answer Center. His mother was a buyer for a local boutique, 